A good morning. If you guys are just joining us, you'll want to make sure you head into the arena as quickly as you can. We've got a really exciting pre-service that is going on right now, and you don't want to miss it. But out here in the concourse, I am here with a very special guest. This is Amy mixon Marchino, and she was actually Jim and Paul's very first Preston Trail staff hire. Amy, can you tell us a little bit about what you were hired to do? Yes, I was the children's programming director, and so I wrote and directed and produced a show that we put on every Sunday. We called it Dude Ranch, and I was Miss Jessie, so I was the leader of the gang, and I had amazing volunteers who were my gang members, and they hung out with me, and we put on shows, and we tried to teach people about love and values that they could live by. I love that, and I see you've worn some throwback cowboy boots today. Throw back to Miss Jessie. Well, that is so exciting. 20 years ago, this looked very different than it does today. Can you tell us, looking at the arena and everyone kind of f flowing in from the concourse, what does it feel like to go from 20 years ago in a movie theater to here today at the event center? Well, first of all, this is very fancy. You have a microphone. Um, and so, and this fancy camera that's happening in front of me, there's so many people, um, there's so many, um, there's so much equipment. I mean, there's just so many things, but you know what's not different is the vibe. The vibe feels the same. Life and loving on other people in Jesus' name. Yes, and it's so crazy. How many stories have been written through the life of Preston Trail? So many, and mine is at the top of the list. Oh, I love that. Well, you may not remember this, but 20 years ago, advertising looked a lot different than it does now. And we actually, to promote Dude Ranch, created this promotional CD where Amy had recorded this story of telling a Bible virtue. And um, we have actually put this to animation. We want to show you guys here in just a second. But Amy, this is for you. I don't know if you actually have a CD player still to be able to play this. I'll find one. Good, good. We want to make sure you watch it, but we have actually set this to animation. We want to give you guys a taste of what Dude Ranch was like back in the day. Thanks, Amy. Thank you. Well, howdy, kids. I'm so glad to be here and talking inside of your CD player. Before I go any further, I guess I better introduce myself. Miss Jessie's the name, and I'm the cowgirl who runs a Dude Ranch, and I want to tell you a story. And this one's a doozy, so listen up, you cow pokes. Okay, here goes. This is about one of my dearest friends and the hardest working ranch hand this side of the West. The only problem is he tried to do too much. He didn't have any self-control, and this time it got him into some trouble. Cowboy Slick was a tough old ranch hand who never let anything get in his way. He could rope a steer, wrestle a cactus, and drink ginger ale out of his boot all at the same time. Slick had no time for games. He was there to work and make sure everything stayed just hunky-dory at the dude ranch. One blistering, hot summer's day, right after Slick had tamed a horse, shaken a rattlesnake, and cooked himself a bowl of beans, he lay down to take his siesta. Just as he began dreaming about his old pet armadillo, Lucille, he heard a crash, bang, boom that resounded throughout the Lone Star State. Slick jumped up from his cot in the ranch hand house, knocked down the door, tripped over his get fiddle, and saddled up old Bessie. Come on, Bessie, he hollered. Let's go see what's happened. Bessie and Slick galloped through the ranch, ringing the bell a warning. Well, we all came a running. Slick only rang that bell when something big had happened. As we scurried to where Slick sat rigid on his horse, another loud crash kaboomed, and then the bottom dropped out. And I don't mean out of a pair of long underwears, but I do mean out of the sky. Kids, it began to pour down rain. Lightning flashed and thunder rolled, and Slick just sat there. He wasn't afraid of a little rain, no. He saw something much bigger on the horizon. And there, sitting atop his horse, looking like a true cowboy of the Old West, Slick took off his hat, put it over his heart, and looked into the clouds that had gathered above his head. 
Only one thing was on his mind as the heavens dripped with summer's dew. Why, Slick thought, oh why did I put that hot sauce in my beans? <laughs> you see, kids, Slick had gotten himself into trouble and almost burned his tongue slap off with that hot sauce. That's what happens when you don't learn to use self-control. Now, I want to see y'all at the Dude Ranch, where you can have some more adventures just like this one with me and all the rest of my gang at the AMC Theater at Stonebriar Mall starting September 8th at 10 o'clock in the morning. Now, stay tuned, because the creators at the Dude Ranch are going to tell you more about it. <laughs> <laughs>